What up, what up? What's the B word, man? I'm Anthony Addison with another segment of What's the B word? Like and subscribe to the page. Hit me up on Instagram, What's the B word 52, just like you see on YouTube. Hit me up on Facebook, What's the B word? And hit me up on Twitter, B word 52. And y'all already know what's going on with me. Baltimore Raven fan, Raven Nation stand up. Flock, let's get it. And if you're not a Raven fan, you might be a fan of the Steelers, the Browns, the Broncos, or whoever, or the Texans. Hit the subscribe button anyway, because we talk football, period, up in here, baby. But today, we're here to talk about this game against the Texans and the Ravens, the game we just got done watching. And man, oh man, oh man, our Baltimore Ravens put a beat down on the Houston Texans. 4-1-7. to one seven. I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm geeked up because we've been on a ball and we're doing our thing right now. But we're going to pop it off. We're going to talk about the offense. And if you know we're talking about the offense, we're going to talk about LJ. We're going to talk about LJ, this MVP candidate right here, man. LJ just really, really just doing, man, he just doing magnificent out here, man. Um, LJ went 17 for 24, 222 yards and four TDs, no picks, no fumbles. Had himself a game, man. Didn't let too many passes go, go, um, sail on him and stuff like that. I think he only missed, like, I think I, I can remember just one pass he missed like that. He had a pretty good game passing, man. He just looking like he feeling himself, man. The game, I could tell, you can tell that, that the game is slowing down more and more for LJ, man. And he's becoming, he's, he's starting to become lethal with it. With his playing style and the way he play, he's he starting to become lethal with it. Man, I I, I just, man, the, 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 the ceiling is the roof for this guy, man. I mean, this this if you think about it, when he was in college, he did the same thing. The transition between one year one and year two is just unbelievable, man. And that's what we've seen it before our eyes again, man. So I don't even know why people doubted this kid. People are really, really starting to believe in this guy. But, man, LJ, LJ just got us on another level right now. He just got us on another level. Um... I'm gonna talk. Let me let me scroll down. Uh, Mark Andrews had four receptions for 75 yards. He had uh, uh, Mark Ingram had three receptions. Uh, I mean, Mark Andrews had one touchdown. Excuse me. Uh, Mark Ingram had three receptions, 37 yards, and two touchdowns. Um, Pat Ricard had three receptions. Um, Hollywood had two. Boyle, Boyle had two. Hayden had two. Self Roberts had one in the touchdown. Willie Smead, Sneed had two, and Justice Hill had one. We tried to spread the ball off a little bit better. We tried to go at um, Boykins a couple of times, but it just didn't really work out. Um, I thought one of them was passing the friends, but then, you know, who am I? Because, you know, I thought that they play on DeAndre Hobson on the other side was passing the friends on us. But, hey, I guess that's why I ain't got a re I ain't a referee and I ain't got a hat on. So, it is what it is. But, man, overall, man, Lamar had himself a pretty good, good doggone game. He added with, with with them 220 yards. He added with 86 yards rushing. He averaged he averaged 9 yards per carry. He averaged almost 10 yards per pass, man. That's amazing, bro. For him to average 9 yards per carry and 10 yards, like almost 10 yards per pass, man. That's dead. That's lethal. That's how you get 41-7. to seven. That's how you get 41-7. to seven. And, um... Time to talk about Mark, too, man. I thought Mark running-wise didn't have that great of a game. They were slowing them up. But like I said in my preview game, the Texans have a pretty good doggone run defense. And they were stout up in there. They were stout up in there. Uh, he had 13 carries for 48 yards. He had no he had no touchdowns rushing. But he recovered with that with two touchdowns carrying on receiving. One of those plays was awesome, man. Was awesome. Was awesome. But um, to me, honestly, man, this game... Even though the offense did its thing and the offense been doing their thing week in, week out, this game is not even about the offense. This game is not about the offense. This game is about the defense. So that's I, I, I'm slick done talking about the offense right there. Lamar had a good game. The team offense as a whole had a good game. Hold up, before I get done with the offense, shout out to the O-line. Because the O-line had that man sitting there just looking like he just couldn't get touched, man. The O-line, I mean, the O-line had him sitting up there pretty. Had him sitting up there pretty, man. The O-line is really jelly, man. This O-line is getting better and better week by week. And it's, man, it's like they growing right before our eyes, man. They playing, that offensive line is playing some good doggone football right now. Run blocking and pass blocking. They definitely, they always been good at run blocking. But, man, they are stepping up in the pass block scene, man. So, shout out to them guys over there, man. Shout out to Bozeman and Skirl. Shout out to Legend to the right. Because, you know, I don't mention his name. Shout out to the boogeyman at right guard. Shout out to Stanley. Shout out to Baby Zeus, man. They doing their thing, man. I'm going to throw Nick Boyle out there, too, because, you know, he part of the offensive line, too, even though he's a tight end. Shout out to them guys, man, because they kept, they kept Lamar upright, and he really didn't get touched that much today. But let's get to this defense. 
Let's get to this defense because, man, oh, man, this defense came to play ball. This defense came to play ball today. I mean, they had a sense of urgency out this world today. I mean, I'm just I'm just saying it was just crazy. I mean, hold up, y'all. My baby walking up. Sorry, y'all. Daddy daycare going on, too, man. I'm still a daddy. So, you know, I got my two kids here. Um, My wife had to work today. So, anyway. Back to this defense, man. Playing with a sense of urgency, man. Playing like they hair was on fire. They were flying to the ball. And for the first time, we showed up with a pass rush. A consistent pass rush. We was getting at Deshaun Watson. And we had him rattled. We had him rattled. He was making mistakes. I mean, first first drive, I believe that was the first drive. We forced the fumble. Sack fumble. Matthew Judon with a forced fumble. And Matthew Judon got two sacks today. I mean, Matthew Judon was everywhere today. I mean, I've been complaining. I was early in the season. I was complaining about Judon because I want to see more out of him. This is the Judon I know. This is the Judon I love, and I see it, man. Judon ready to get that check, man. He 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 started to play like he want that check, and that's what I've been wanting to see. Judon showed, man. Judon showed up today. He showed up today. I don't know what's in that Taco Bell, but boy. I don't know if you're eating a Locos taco or a Nacho Bell Grande. Keep eating it because, man, you, you can't with it today. You can't, you can't ready the ball today, man. So, first shout out on, on defense. Shout out to Judah. My second shout out on defense. And you got to shout this man out. Because I, he's he's been playing, he's been under the radar playing good. Ever since Pernell McPhee has been out, Jalen Ferguson has been getting a lot of play time. And, and, and see, even though he's not being the best pass rusher that we think he should be, he's getting the job done as far as setting the edge and, and, and being good in the run, man. He's being good in the run. And he, and he, he showed up in the pass rush this, today. He was getting there. He wasn't. He, he he wasn't getting sacks. He got one sack, but he wasn't just getting there all the time. But he was getting there. He was. I, I was seeing them chase him, chase down people, chase down, chase down, Deshaun Watson and stuff like that. So shout out to Jalen Ferguson, man, because he been under the radar balling, man. He been sitting at edge. He been run stuffing, and and now he's showing his pass rushing skills, man. I seen a spin move. I seen Jalen Ferguson do a spin move today. When all we usually see him do is bull rush. So shout out to Jalen Ferguson, man, because he it, it seemed like over time he getting better and better and better, man. He getting more of a feel for this level of football. So shout out to Jalen Ferguson, man, because that's, that's one surprising thing, man. He's playing some doggone good football right now, like completely under the radar type stuff. He ain't playing like Tim Williams. I can tell you that much. Um, The next person. Oh, uh, let's let's give a shout out to the secondary as a whole. The second secondary as a whole, man. The secondary as a whole did their job, man. And we 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 forced the interception, Josh Bryan, but that was more of the defensive line that did that. But we forced the interception, man. I'm gonna scroll over to Deshaun Watson stats because he ain't do that good. Deshaun Watson went 18 for 29 for 169 yards in the interception, no touchdowns, no touchdowns. Defense showed out. Defense came to play ball today. And we seen it from series one until they gave up their little cheap touchdown, man. I think they was just trying not to get hurt. But they played hard all game long. Deshaun Watson didn't have nothing available. He 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 was getting harassed. They were sacking him. They was chasing him down. They was hitting him. They I mean, man, if we could have a pass rush playing like this week in, week out, I think we had seven sacks tonight today. If we can do, if we could do this, we are very dangerous. We are already dangerous, but we are extremely dangerous. Like, if we can keep a deep, if we can keep a pass rush going like this, man, we can put the fear of God, of God in all the teams in the AFC and the NFC. So, man, we we really, really just like on the defensive side of the ball, man. Deshaun Watson only had 169 yards, no touchdowns, and an interception, y'all. Just listen to that. Carlos Hyde had 65 yards, and the most of the 65 yards really came from that one little touchdown that they gave up. For the most part, they were shutting that man down. Running game couldn't get nothing going. Duke Johnson had 40 yards on six carries. I mean, Deshaun Watson had 12 yards on three carries. Our run defense was shutting stuff down. Our run defense was shutting stuff down, man. The defense as a whole, man, they played they, they played a game, man. I, I mean, who, 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 who rightfully... 
thought that we was going to go in this game and hold this team, this Houston Texas team led by Deshaun Watson, by seven points. I mean, hold him to seven points. Hold him under 200 yards past. That looked like, like this defense almost looked like last year's defense as far as like not giving up nothing. Deshaun Watson, uh, um, uh, uh, New Copson had seven catches for 80 yards. That's okay. Because Nuke going to get his. But we kept him from getting a touchdown. One of them was a controversial call because I believe that was a pass interference. And they didn't call it a pass interference. But it was a no call and it helped us. So I'm not going to cry about it. But I think that was pass interference on Marlon Humphrey in the end zone. I just got to be honest because I'm just a realist, man. I'm not going to just be like, um, no, nah, that wasn't a pass interference because that's my team. I'm just going to be real. That was P.I. But, hey, it happens, man. Um, they not going to reverse P.I. pass interference. I don't even know why they challenged it. NFL has already made that known that they're not reversing no pass interference call. So, oh well. Kenny Steele's only had four catches for 27 yards. Cooter had um, um, three catches for 25 yards. And that, that's pretty much the offense. That's pretty much the offense. We shut their offense down. We shut their offense down. The Ravens are 8-2 and two now. We come with an iron fist. We out here ready to, like, we, we, we out here just beating people down right now. And we need to keep this same thing going. We need to keep this same thing going. And Lamar showed again, Lamar showed again that he's a passer. He can pass in his, in his league. And his, and his legs is just an accessory to his game. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 that's, all, that's all it is. The legs is not the main part of his game. He can go out there and pass. He proved me folks wrong time and time and time. The Ravens are proving these people wrong time and time again. And, like, when are they going to really just give us our respect? I mean, well, they, we got number one on power ranking, but, they like, the analysts, the so-called professionals, they just still not giving us our respect. But that's okay. We don't want y'all respect. We want that Lombardi. That's what we want. That's what the flock want. We want that Lombardi. So we're not even just going to worry about all that. Hold up, y'all. Sorry again, y'all. Like I said, man, wife at work. I'm dead at daycare and I'm doing this YouTube thing. So I'm sure y'all understand. Hey, life as a father, man. But anyway, I'm just proud, man. I'm proud of this team. I'm proud of this team. I'm proud of this coaching staff. I'm proud of these players. I love the energy that this team have. No, no I mean, you know, we never had this before, man. This is the first time we'd have had this. Well, especially with the defense, with the defense improving so doggone much since that game against Cleveland, and and like we got a top tier offense, and our defense is starting to play on a top tier level. We are dangerous. We are very dangerous. We are we we are deadly. And if we get a pass rush like this every week, man, we're gonna be a problem. Like we're gonna be like seriously a problem. Like a week might we might. In our season in Miami, if we keep this up, if we keep this up, the team is riding behind Lamar, and Lamar is leading them with an iron fist. And that's just the fact. That's just the fact. And the defense, I mean, that was our main problem at the beginning of the season, the defense. And now that the defense is playing at the level that they're playing, like, man, we'll be a, we, we're going to be a hard team to beat. We're going to be a hard team to beat. We got the Rams next. I feel very good about the Rams game because I don't trust Jerry Goff. Jerry Goff's not that good to me. Ty Gurley is looking like a shell of his stuff. And Jerry, Jerry Goff is just not that good, man. I don't think Jerry Goff could beat us. It'll take Jerry Goff to beat us. And, and, and it's just, I mean, the main thing, I mean, the whole thing about this run that we're going on, I believe it's five games now is that our defense is playing at a high level. That's the biggest part. Like, the offense is doing their thing, but the defense is the biggest part of this run, man. The defense, we, we, wouldn't, be, we, wouldn't, be in this, we wouldn't be on this run right now if the defense wasn't doing what they're doing right now. We scored touch, touchdowns through three of the last four games on defense. We, we didn't got two turnovers this, time, this game right here. We getting turnovers. We finally getting a pass rush. It's just, man, it's amazing, man. It's just amazing. This first year, and and, and I, I want to do one more shout-out to Eric DaCosta, man. This first year as a GM is just really, really just, I mean, man. Like, this what we've been having behind Ozzy? Like, and true enough, he got a, DaCosta got an advantage that a lot of GMs don't get. He got to sit back behind one of the greatest GMs in football and see the trial and error of being a GM. And and look how it's playing out. Look how it's playing out. 
He making great moves. The Marcus Peter move, man. Again, I say this every week. Go to Tim Williams' Twitter account and tell him that burnt toast tastes good. We love that burnt toast over here in Baltimore because Marcus Peter has been huge for us. We got Jimmy out there playing good right now. He ain't even at full speed, man. We, I mean, we just, we just look good, man. It's not too many things negative I can say about this team right now. We need to get the ball to the receivers more, but we talked about that on my mailbag question. You got to think about the formations that we run. We be too tight with a fullback so much that it's hard for receivers to get a lot of playing time and a lot of touches. But man, overall, man, I'm just proud of this team, man. I can't, I, I, I can't be no more, more proud of this team, man. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I done said my shout outs on offense. I done said my shout outs on defense. But as a team, man, we just doing, we just doing a good doggone job. We just doing a good doggone job. Y'all, y'all, y'all go back in y'all room. Go back in y'all room. The kids, y'all. Go back in your room, Naya. The kids, y'all. Life is a daddy. But man. I'm just proud of this team. I'm proud of this coaching staff. I mean, we have a we have an MVP candidate on our team. We never had that. We never had that. Was Jamal Lewis an MVP candidate the year he ran for two thousand? I think so. But we got somebody that can legit win it. So man, it's just it's a crazy year, man. It's a crazy crazy year, man. I'm just proud of the team. Let's get ready for the Rams game. Let's finish up. Hold up, y'all. That's my last time pausing, man. I got the situation settled. But anyway, I'm just proud of the team, man. We are. Um, I didn't see this game going this way, man. I didn't see us beating down the Texans like that. But it is what it is, man. Anyway, shout out to y'all. Because I'm at 500 subscribers now. 500 plus. I'm going to order up some... um. Some chains. I'm finna do a giveaway since I'm at 500 subscribers. I'm gonna order up some chains and um do a giveaway, man. I might even order up a few of these and do a giveaway, man, to show my you know my gratitude to y'all for um subscribing to my channel, checking out what I gotta say day in day out, man, and just showing love, man, because that's all what it's about talking football and showing love. So shout out to y'all, man. 500 subscribers. I remember when I used to be talking to my wife, just like, you know, I know some people, 500 subscribers ain't a lot, but I remember when I was talking to my wife, I was excited just by having 25. <laughs> I was just excited by having 25 subscribers, man. So shout out to y'all, man. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I got some more games I got to watch. Y'all know I got the two TVs going, so I'm peeking at the screen. I'm going to put it on this Patriot game because I got to watch and see what they got what, what they got going. I need We need them to lose because we need this first round. We need, to get, we need to be number one seed. We need to keep this going. So we need the Patriots to lose and um, cheer, for the, uh, cheer for the Eagles. So anyway... Flock, I love y'all. Let's enjoy this victory. Big victory. Let's get ready for the Rams. Y'all hit me up for mailbag questions. I do mailbag questions. That's when you ask me about any NFL team, any NFL player, any college team or player. And I come back and I drop a video and I tell you my honest opinion about that player or team. And I shout you out on it. Um, I, I'll be doing my um, weekly pick em in a couple of days. You know, and um, just, t just letting you know how the schedule go. But anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. Get ready to watch this game. They got us on the press conference right now, man. I'm just excited, man. Mark Ingram acting a fool up there. But anyway, Flock, I love y'all. Let's enjoy this victory. I, I, I'm, I'm just excited, man. So, hey, I'm going to get up out of here. This What's the B Word. Follow me on Instagram. What's the B Word 52. Just like you see on YouTube. Hit me up on Facebook. What's the B Word. Hit me up on Twitter. B Word 52, man. I'm Anthony Addison, and I'm out.